what all the cool kids do, you know? Actually, electric might be dangerous. Anyways, hi guys, welcome to Stefani's, and in this video, we're finally going to explore uh, Thai food in Vancouver. Thai food is uh, so unique, so many amazing, explosive flavors, a lot of spiciness, of course. Unfortunately, Thai food in Vancouver is uh, fairly repetitive, uh, so you know, your green curries, your pad thais, your papaya salads. Now, those are all really good. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna explore uh, the restaurants that make some more unique food. First place we're gonna go to is uh, just around the corner over here. Uh, I've seen some really, really cool reviews. Uh, we're gonna kind of explore your basics, but they have some cool dishes there too. Okay, so our uh, first dish. That's a good start. Okay, <laughs> uh, first dish has so. Uh, okay, first dish, and we have our stuffed uh, chicken wings, and I haven't screwed up my words this time. Okay, perfect. So inside, you're gonna find I think it's a whole bunch of pork, maybe some uh, fungus mushrooms, uh, some carrots, and look at that, just super crispy, super hot. I think it does look like mostly uh, pork, maybe some uh, vermicelli noodles inside, and uh, then just uh, just completely stuffed inside the chicken wing. Let's dip it into the sauce right here. Listening beautifully, and let's just take a bite. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Super crispy. Uh, the layer of chicken kind of surrounding the filling is uh, fairly thin, uh, and then inside, it's almost like the filling you'd find in, like a spring roll. A little bit bouncy too. Comes out piping hot, not too greasy. Yeah, fairly crispy. Yeah, very good start. So next dish, and this is actually kind of cool. Uh, we saw this on a menu, we knew we had to get it. This is a salted egg uh, squid or calamari. And right away you can see the salted egg is kind of caked on top. Uh, and then all these kind of um, yellow peppers. But look at all the amount. Actually, what I really like already is they're giving you a fair amount of salted squid. And look at that too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just super hot, super smoky. Now we have a little bit of jasmine rice to go with. I'm gonna try it just uh, by itself to start. Oh yeah, the salt good egg actually adds just a very slight uh, hint of creaminess. Uh, overall, the dish has a little bit of sweetness, uh, some caramelization. Uh, you can definitely taste there's a bit of that kind of caramel, so it's uh, caramelized. And then that squid is so tender. Yeah, very, very tender squid. Uh, the vegetables are all nice and fresh, and of course, uh, we need it with just a little bit of rice. dish all this on top of the rice look at that oh yes oh the perfect bite awesome <laughs> it's like a cylinder of joy mm, yeah that squid is so tender uh, the sweetness from it and then of course with the rice just kind of bounces out everything the only thing I would say is maybe next time I'm gonna ask for just more chili or more spiciness because that'll just kind of brighten it up a little bit but I think you can do that too. You can probably adjust the spiciness levels and we might even ask for some chili on top of that. So, oh, and we have another dish coming up too. This will be a stir fried uh, pork belly uh, with some uh, holy basil, a whole bunch of vegetables. We asked for this uh, fairly spicy. I think this is what we asked for. It's fairly spicy, so we'll see how spicy it is and some green beans, uh, just a lot of fresh colors, super aromatic, you can smell it. I think the first move, obviously, is to go for this pork belly by itself. There you go. Awesome, let's give it a shot. Oh, and the chili kind of kicks the back of your throat a little bit. Well, not too spicy though. I'm gonna try everything together. Uh, I'm gonna try the pork, a little bit of those uh, of veggies on the bottom, and look at that, just that juice kind of soaking into the pork. There you go. Perfect. And just try to get a little bit of rice involved too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> bit of an awkward bite, but let's see if, let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. First of all, that sauce is bomb. So good, a little bit of sweetness. Uh, definitely some chilies in there. Not too spicy though. We did ask for it spicy, but it looks like they've given us uh, the kind of mild spicy. Uh, then, a whole bunch of vegetables, very nicely cooked. That pork belly is really nicely done, the crispy skin. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe the fat could be just a little bit more rendered. Uh, but other than that, just a really nice dish, especially with the rice. Uh, you get that sauce and all those uh, kind of mix-ins in there. Next time, I'm gonna ask for the Thai level spice and we'll see what happens. On to this last one here. 
Man, this is beautiful. This is a dish actually you will find on several menus. Uh, it seems to be a fairly common dish. And this will be uh, your duck in red curry. Uh, just a super beautiful dish. There's some lychee in there. And I think I see some pieces of duck. Oh yeah, the pieces of roast duck just kind of uh, poking its head out. So let's uh, first of all search for uh, this duck uh, just drowning in this epper. Epper? It's not even a word. <laughs> this duck just drowning. Oh, look at all the duck on the bottom. Yes, perfect. Oh, wow. That is actually more duck than I thought. And that, I'm, that makes me a very, very happy man. Look at that. So good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that duck is very nice and tender. That sauce is so creamy. Uh, kind of more concentrated than uh, some other ones I've had. That's a little bit on the sweet side. Uh, but then you just get that epic creaminess that just kind of rounds out the whole uh, the whole dish. And look at that, look at all these beautiful vegetables. I think I see some bamboo shoots in there too. Oh, with the lychee. Oh, let's get one with the lychee. Let's get everything together. Uh, a little bit of that duck, hopefully. Oh, yes, perfect. Oh, oh, and just a little bit of rice. Let's try. Oh, I think I lost one, <laughs> but let's go. That, that's the bite right there. Like all these kind of flavors intermingling, you got the sweetness uh, from the lychee, and you get a little bit of that spiciness uh, from the creamy uh, curry, the kind of meatiness from the duck, and of course, uh, a bit of that crispy, uh, that crunch from the bamboo shoot all together. This is a very well done dish, I must say. Some of the duck curries you do see uh, have very small amounts of duck. This one, they've just kind of loaded a whole bunch of duck on there and it's kind of hiding. It doesn't look like there's that much. And then as soon as you dig into the treasure chest, uh, you just get rewarded with this kind of, these golden nuggets of, of duck. I would choose these golden nuggets over real gold. Actually, maybe not. I, I'd choose both if I can have both at the same time. You know, some people have basic instincts. I have basal instincts. Uh, what am I, I'm supposed to do like an action shot or something? Back. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> this is a two part joke. Uh, the best part about these is that you can actually grow them in Vancouver. Uh, yeah, especially uh, in urban farms. You know, urban, urban. <laughs> or it's an herb. <laughs> and next spot is uh, kind of like a more upscale uh, Thai restaurant. I've actually come here a couple times. I've always really enjoyed the food. Uh, so let's go. And they also have Thai style fried chicken. Pretty excited. Let's go try it out. That was... Anyway, bye. So uh, Mainam, probably one of the first really kind of uh, modern uh, Thai joints I've seen in Vancouver. Uh, kind of fusing uh, West Coast style with uh, Thai, uh, I guess, yeah, Thai dishes. Dishes are a little bit on the higher end, uh, but I think the first time I tried this place, I was just really impressed. Uh, yeah, the flavors, the really good quality of the seafood. I think Thai modern is kind of becoming more of a popular thing in Vancouver. There are two or three uh, kind of more modern uh, higher end Thai restaurants that are opening in Vancouver. So I'm very happy to see uh, Thai cuisine taking that next step in uh, Vancouver. So anyways, let's eat. Uh, we've ordered some pretty cool dishes and uh, they're gonna come really soon. Uh, the first dish here is a tom kha soup. And this is actually one of the dishes that really uh, kind of made me fall in love with this restaurant. I thought this was the first time I had this soup and they've had this soup for quite a while on the menu. It was so good, so amazing. The only thing I might notice, I think the portions are a little bit smaller, but that's kind of a typical of most restaurants. Uh, anyways, yeah. Yeah, what's really cool is uh, this one's just straight up mushroom, so it's uh, tomka uh, mushroom soup and look at just that beautiful aromatic broth. Look at all those different types of mushroom in there. I see some oyster mushrooms. There's a couple of chilies in there just to flavor the broth and uh, chilies which I'm gonna give to David obviously to eat whole. It's good for bedtime, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna pour a little bit in here so look at all those amazing mushrooms too. Yes, perfect. I love the amount of mushrooms that they're giving you. Let's just try the broth to start. Oh, so good. Mm, yeah, a little bit of sourness, a little bit of sweetness. Uh, just a very, very small hint of spice. And then that creamy coconut flavor just comes through. And what I really love about this dish are just the giant chunks of just mushrooms which have soaked in all this broth. And let's just take a bite of that. 
That kind of just beautiful soaked mushroom uh, still retains all of its texture. And then just that basil at the end, just that nice little uh, herby hint. It is a little bit pricey. Uh, you know, this I think is about 27 bucks. So you're paying quite a bit, but I think the flavors are just super on point. And of course, if you do want a little bit more spice, you can just take a, a little bite into that chili. This is a uh, Thai sausage and crispy, um, I think crispy rice salad. And there you go. There's a bunch of like crispy bits. Oh, that Thai sausage almost looks like it's kind of cut up thinly. I like how it's just all mixed together. Got that beautiful bit of crispy grilled sausage on the top there. Let's take a bite. Oh, that's good. Wow, the rice has like a kind of vinaigrette dressing on it and it kind of just retains its uh, crispiness. What I really like too, obviously that Thai sausage comes in nicely. The Thai sausage, not too strong, uh, strongly flavored. And uh, then of course that kind of vinaigrette, a little bit of acidity coming through. Uh, maybe it's just a very small uh, hint of sweetness, but yeah, it's all about just that kind of explosion of flavor. It's pretty much like a textural salad and just all those flavors are so uh, well balanced. And that sausage, how can you not like this grilled Thai sausage with crispy rice? Thai sausage, one of my favorite sausages uh, in the world. Let's go on to these little mini cupcakes. Normally they'll have side striped shrimp on this one, but I think right now they just have the uh, scallops. We got these uh, little kind of mini wontons. I think there's some peanuts in there. There's some ikora, so obviously the uh, salmon eggs and then that uh, little scallop and it comes kind of just, I think, I'm not sure what's underneath, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Whoa, uh, it's very different than what I thought it would be. That's cool. Wait, the bottom is kind of like a crispy nut mixture. I think there's some peanuts in there. There's definitely some sweetness. And then the cora kind of balances it out nicely because you get a little bit more saltiness, some oceaniness from the Akira. And then that scallop is really nice. That's a kind of flavorful, super cool bite that's kind of explodes in your mouth. The only thing I would say is it's a little bit on the sweet side and because of that you don't really uh, taste uh, the scallop. I'd like to taste the scallop a little bit more. Other than that, really cool bite and I love all those kind of textural components. Really kind of cool combination. dish that we have is an absolutely amazing dish. This looks so cool. It's called, um, I think it's a Massaman curry and uh, just this massive lamb shank. Look how beautiful this is. I don't know exactly what these are. I think they're maybe like uh, purple yams or something kind of crispified. Uh, coming with some jasmine rice. Got this uh, cucumber relish and then if you want a little bit more spice I think it maybe looks like some kind of I'm not sure maybe fish sauce or something. So let's dig into it on oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited Let's see how tender this lamb is. Oh, oh no effort needed. Look at this. Oh, I'm using minimal force and it's just melting apart. Oh Wow, look at that. It's almost like a lamb waterfall. Oh Yes, perfect I'm so excited about this now. And on this side, I'm not sure exactly what this is. Oh, I think this is pineapple. And then some uh, shallots too. Like they say in sheep land, lamb, bam, thank you, lamb. Yeah. No? Okay, let's focus on this lamb instead of my terrible jokes. It needs to be uh, rejuicified. So let's get a little bit more of this juice. Or oh, maybe get like a oh, whole look at that. That lamb is so tender. That sauce is really nice. There's like a mushiness, I think. It was maybe a potato or something, I'm not quite sure. There's probably some tamarind in there. There's some aromatic spices, a little bit sweet. Uh, I'm guessing there's probably some, maybe some palm sugar. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's get a little bit of this uh, cucumber sauce here. Let's put that right on the lamb there. And you know what? I'm gonna make it a bit more spicy. Let's get a little bit of that right on the lamb. And then I'm gonna kind of mix it around. Okay, <laughs> let's try that with all the condiments on it. Okay, yeah. That just makes it so much brighter, so much more flavorful. Wow, 
Yeah, it needs to be counterbalanced with something a little bit vinegary, something a little bit spicy, and something kind of uh, fresh, like the cucumber, the chilies, and then that kind of pickling liquid. That whole combination is amazing. The lamb is really tender, and all the other, uh, yeah, the sauce is really good. But since the sauce is sweet, yeah, definitely get it with those uh, pickling uh, liquids and use a lot of this, because that's just gonna make it so delicious, and I love this condiment. That is absolutely amazing. What do you call a sheep that does karate? A lamb chop. <laughs> I did that too. You see, they cut everything. Yeah, it was it was whole before. Black belt, green belt, pink belt, maybe. You know, sometimes I take lots of risks. I guess you could say I was born to be wild. <laughs> Set some bone. <laughs> And our next spot also has some uh, pretty uh, unique dishes, uh, especially, yeah, jungle curry and also a sour curry. Uh, something you don't really find in a lot of Thai restaurants. We are in the faraway land, once again, of Surrey. Yeah, we have to cross that bridge. Uh, it's not that far. It's like 20 minutes. Uh, but anyways, let's go inside. I'm actually very excited to try so many dishes. And I think this time, we're going to try some Thai spice. Let's, let's ask for Thai spicy. Then you'll see our, uh, our sweat and our tears and maybe some other things. Actually, no, not other stuff, but let's go. So uh, we just ordered and we ordered Thai spicy and she started laughing. Oh yeah, because she probably keeps Oh, it's proof her wrong. <laughs> we can handle this. Action Jackson. Action Michael Jackson. <laughs> Cut that. So yeah, they have a fair amount of uh, lunch specials. So I think you come here between, I think it's like 11 and 2.30 uh, and you actually get a full dish, uh, what's called a wonton salad and a soup. So uh, we thought we'd try it out. Uh, some of the dishes are just fairly, uh, they're pretty much staples. Uh, a lot of the dishes that you can get around uh, Vancouver. Uh, this is called a pad si yu. Uh, I destroyed that word, but I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, a whole bunch of noodles, kind of, uh, I guess, uh, stir fried with some uh, chicken and a whole bunch of uh, vegetables, it looks like. And oh, we got more dishes coming up. Let's see. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. And there you go, stir fried basil too. Yes, look at that. So we also got a stir fried basil. There's some button mushrooms in there. Uh, I think this is pork. We got it with the pork because uh, where there's chicken in the patty soup. What's cool about the lunch special is you get a little bit of a salad and of course a very small soup on the side. Let's try the pad issue first. Just got some of this noodle here. Look at that. Oh, perfect. And I'm gonna see if I can maybe uh, get a little bit of that chicken. Or a big, okay, that's a lot of chicken, but there we go. <laughs> this massive bite, that chicken's almost falling off. Let's just do a quick bite here. Definitely some soy sauce, a little bit of sweetness. And you're using a sweeter soy sauce, chicken, fairly tender. Mmm, a noodle, nice texture too. Nice bouncy texture on the noodle. Look at what's come now. So yeah, this will be our spread for uh, this meal. And uh, wow, I'm so excited. And they all came at the same time. So this will be a uh, pork with uh, basil. Um, super uh, popular dish, obviously. Uh, this is a dish that's fairly common. Uh, I think this is one where we asked for Thai spice. So I'm not sure. I think I might see a couple chilies in there. Let's get you some of this uh, epic chicken. Look at that bite. Yes, perfect. I think we got all the proteins in here. Oh no, this is pork. Sorry, so we got the pork. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Pork is nice and tender. That sauce is really good. Some caramelization, some chilies, and of course some mushrooms. The textures are really good. There's definitely a spice. There's a kick coming through, especially with that uh, the Thai chilies coming through in that sauce. But yeah, the sweetness of the sauce, the caramelization once again, and of course, just that super fragrance from the basil. That's really good. And the tingling at the back of the throat. That's perfect. Mmm. Okay. Let's go into some of these, and um, these are, I'm so excited about these. This is the jungle uh, curry. Jungle curry, I think we asked for it with chicken. Yeah, this is the chicken there. Uh, jungle curry, uh, actually called Kang Pa, uh, terrible pronunciation, uh, but I will continue. Uh, jungle curry, what's really unique is there is no coconut milk. It comes from like forested areas of Thailand, and, um, and normally from what I've seen, they're fairly spicy, but yeah, you can tell it's a little bit more liquidy. And uh, like I said, the, the lack of coconut milk uh, sometimes means that you're gonna have just a kind of punchy, strong flavor. Uh, this is the chicken one. You can try the broth by itself. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that so much. Yeah, I think there's 
some some lime leaf in there. I think there's some galango, and that's really what you taste. And of course, that spiciness comes through really nicely. Wow, that is just a smack in the face. And uh, I'm gonna try to get some of that chicken there. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh. And actually, they're really loading it with chicken, which is pretty good. And like I said, we asked for this Thai spicy, and it's fairly spicy. Uh, not super crazy though, but let's just get this chicken here. Mmm. Oh, that flavor is just so in your face. So kind of chili forward, but of course, some aromatics in there too. And because you're not getting that coconut milk uh, with it, uh, it's more of like the soup and those flavors just hit you uh, much harder. And that is delicious. It, it makes you a little bit red too. Actually, this might have become one of my you know, favorite dishes. Uh, this is just so delicious. I think there's even some eggplant. Look at that creaminess from the eggplant in there too. Oh yeah, and you gotta watch out for your throat. Your throat will suffer too. Mm. This is actually another type of curry that we don't really find that often in Vancouver. And this is a sour curry. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what makes it that sour. Oh yeah. I, I do know after Wikipedia. Uh, sour curry, actually really cool, more of a soup. And uh, the base is actually made from uh, tamarind and what they do is they actually use some palm uh, sugar uh, to sweeten it a little bit. Uh, the base is actually kind of, um, I think it, they use some shrimp paste and some other aromatics in there. And it almost acts like a soup. And then of course you're gonna have uh, just that fish that goes uh, with it. So normally served with fish or shrimp. And uh, like I said, another dish that is really not that common in Vancouver, you can tell, this one contains basa. It has like a tomato-y kind of um, a smell to it too. So I think they might add some tomato to it. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, a little bit of sourness. There is definitely like that tomato-y, almost like I wanna say a Buya Bessie essence to this. Yeah, it actually smells a bit like a Buya Bessie because of that a fish that's in there. There's some tomato, a massive kick. <laughs> it's like getting kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> it's just painful and delicious. Uh, it's not that spicy though. Uh, when I say painful, it's, it's an enjoyable painful. And uh, that broth, I gotta try more of that broth because that broth is just really good. Wow, that is good. There's a sweetness coming from there too. And yeah, that's where that palm sugar just kind of kicks in. You know, the flavor from uh, this curry is just absolutely amazing. You could even say I'm bamboozled. You know, bamboo shoot, bamboozled. Guess where we are? Now we're still in Vancouver. Uh, <laughs> anyways, our uh, next spot we're gonna go to is a spot I've been wanting to try for quite a while uh, because of the uniqueness of their dishes. Uh, probably one of the only spots I've seen uh, where you can find boat noodles and also a couple of other cool dishes. So uh, that's what we got. It's only to go for the moment, so we're gonna grab uh, the stuff. Anyways, let's go uh, give him, uh, yeah, let's go uh, try it out. This is the part where I'm supposed to say something cool. So let's get her in there. Giant brown bags. Did we over order? Yes, but I'm very excited about this food. Also, the other cool uh, thing I saw is a giant kind of stone mortar and pestle. That's a very good sign. Anyways, let's go eat this stuff. First of all is the salad. Uh, let's go into it. All this pork, a uh, bunch of, uh, I think, rice powder. Uh, this kind of lettuce on the side. I'll just leave that to the side. <laughs> let's just focus on what's important, which is obviously this beautiful pork. Uh, so yeah, I think, I don't know if it's pork belly. It looks like just kind of pork shank. Uh, I guess it got a little bit of health on that side. A little bit of green, a little bit of greenery, some shrubbery to go on the side. Let's just take a bite. Oh, the shrubbery just left the fork. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Oh, so sad. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Super spicy, very fragrant. You can taste that rice powder. It's almost a little bit mealy, so it kind of coats all the meat. The pork is fairly tender. It's kind of cooked uh, perfectly, actually, not too dry. And I love just those uh, spices, maybe a little bit of fish sauce in there too. I'm surprised I'm gonna say this, but you actually might need a little bit of that uh, uh, fresh lettuce to go with it. It's something you'll probably never hear me say. I think with the salad, it'll kind of brighten it up too. Next, whoa, B. Uh, this is boat noodle. So. Uh, this is the one dish I really wanted to try. A little bit of history, very quick and not very, uh, not very in depth. The name is actually very simple. It actually comes from uh, people who would sell these in boats. And uh, more normally in boat noodles, uh, the stock 
or the broth will be made with uh, pork blood. So we got the uh, pork uh, uh, broth. I think there's some pork blood in there. This is where you get a little bit more of that darker color. But the other cool fact about boat noodles is uh, that they actually come in smaller uh, plates and or in smaller uh, bowls and that is because uh, when you are serving these noodles from a boat you do not want the awkwardness of having a giant bowl so the bowls were actually fairly small that is crappy history 101 from stefan on boat noodles i will now continue to eating these uh so let's pour this broth right in there oh look at that yes and i hope i really hope this is what i'm supposed to do i i'm really i've actually never had these so i'm not quite sure exactly what to do uh this looks like some chili let's tie it up let's just put all of it in there because why not i'm ready to die tonight uh and then this just i know what this is i'm gonna die even more oh yep that is some uh, that's some chili chili something and then i think these are uh pork rinds so i think what you're supposed to do is add the pork rinds uh, to this so let's just add these there you go and those are your boat noodles There you go. I'm gonna try those noodles first, maybe with a little bit of that pork in there. They only had the pork ones. I wanted to get the beef shank, uh, but I, I'm not gonna complain. At least they have boat noodles. And there you go. Yes, perfect. Wow, there's a nice sweetness coming from there. The noodles are actually very well done. There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of ironiness uh, from that broth. Kind of tastes maybe a little bit like lemongrass, uh, a little bit of sweetness and some chili and a bit of depth from that pork. Uh, maybe just a little bit on the sweet side. Maybe I'd like to see it just a little bit less sweet. Next dish here and uh, I, thought, I thought I was gonna look up the name thinking it was gonna be really complicated and all they called it was crab meat stir fried curry. Woof, okay, good. <laughs> so. Uh, we got more of this kind of deadly uh, chili sauce here and uh, this should all be crab meat uh, So kind of cool. I don't know what this is doing there. I'm just gonna move you just what are you go away? Anyways uh, crab meat Whoa, smells intense. Actually, no, I think it smells intense because I was holding this next to it uh, <laughs> But uh, let me pour this on top. Why not just a little bit? Oh man, what have I done? It's okay, Mark Weens would be proud. And this is a bunch of crab meat. Now what's kind of cool is I think I see potentially some crab eggs in there too. Uh, so yeah, this is another dish I haven't really seen that often. And uh, you can kind of smell maybe some fish sauce uh, too. I'm not sure exactly what the spices are, but let's give it a shot. Oh wow, that is intense. Woo, oh and I got the chili, woo. Okay, wow, like a TKO kick. Wow, that is incredible. Now, uh, I will say it's fairly salty, so you do need the rice to come with it. It has a lot of fishiness. Fishy, uh, chili -y, and then just intense uh, kind of, I think there's definitely some lemongrass in there, a whole bunch of herbs, maybe spices. Mmm, mm hmm Oh, you know what? That was an epic bite. I think I got two kind of bits or chunks of crab in there that just kind of melted and flaked in your mouth. Uh, and then after that, yeah, you get a kind of cool fishiness. I think that's from the fish sauce. Then you get the chili. And then there's some kind of maybe, I want to say like a, another kind of yellow curry uh, spice to it. Uh, but wow, that is actually epically good. And you do have to mix it a lot with the rice. If you eat it just by itself, it's going to be fairly salty. But once you mix it with the rice, it becomes just an explosion of really good flavor. I just wanna dishes, the more you eat it, the more you fall in love with it. Anyways, that will do it for our epic uh, Thai food uh, adventure of Vancouver. There are a couple other Thai joints I do wanna try. Uh, maybe I will include them in another video. Please let me know if you do want me to make another uh, Thai food video of Vancouver. Uh, I think there are a couple new ones that are really exciting now. Uh, there's also one which is ridiculously expensive, but it's like a whole experience. And I think it's just one, like one of the best new restaurants in Vancouver. So I'm very excited. I uh, we'll probably will have to do that eventually. If you do enjoy our videos, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. And of course, uh, hit us up with those comments. Leave some comments. Let us know if there are other spots you want us to try in Vancouver. Give us some uh, cool ideas. We'll see you very, very soon. Ciao for now.